Hey everybody, Ryan Roxy back with you. I am going to start referring to you guys as the 77 Nation Guitar Army because we are marching forward learning how to play guitar, all types of songs, all types of music, all types of styles of the guitar. It's just... It, what I want to do is get you interested in whatever style of music you want to do. And I've gotten a lot of requests for a heavier Alice Cooper song. And one of them, I figured, why not teach one of the heaviest ones he has out called Brutal Planet? And it's not as hard at all as you think it might be. Um, the hardest thing about this song, I think, would be the tuning. So what do I mean by that? Well, if you check out the links to the tuning series that we have through play along or if you just want to get a tuner with you you'd want to tune your whole entire guitar down one half step and then you're going to drop that d um you're going to drop d which means you're going to make the sixth string the same tone as your fourth string so let me see if you can hear that all right so you're going to take the whole guitar down a half step and then Go for a dropped uh, six string. So when you play a D chord, it sounds like that. Okay? Once you have your guitar in tune, we can start with the opening riff. And the opening riff is obviously an Eric Singer drum fill, and then. Da -da -da -da. What is that? Basically just a two note chord, okay? You can use your third finger, your first finger. I don't care what finger you use right now because they're just two fingered chords, but they're only on the sixth and fifth string. Play it on the fifth, sixth and fifth string. So I've got this chord that starts on the sixth string, sixth fret, fifth string, sixth fret. Just those two notes. That's the opening riff. There is an overdub for those that are a bit more advanced and maybe you have a whammy pedal at home and you want to use those toys. Well, it, this riff starts on the third string, 14th fret, and that little overdub riff is. So you can combine those two together if you have another guitar player that you're learning this song with, then all of a sudden you've got instant Alice Cooper. How about that? That's your intro. Now we will move on to the verse. And the verse is basically just the two note chord of the open sixth string, the open fifth string pedaling. And you just have to pay attention to your right hand strumming. So. lead us all the way up to the pre-chorus. So now we're at the pre-chorus and what I play here a lot of times are hybrid fourth string bar chords, which basically if you already know your sixth string bar chords and your fifth string bar chords, those two note chords that I kind of go over a lot when we do these sort of interactive videos with each other. Um, a fourth string bar chord, maybe you're not as familiar with, but it's this sort of, uh, string pattern, okay, or finger pattern. I don't want to get too far off on a tangent, but fourth string bar chords, my favorite example of a fourth string bar chord is maybe, a, how about Molly Crew? So you got your fourth string bar chord fingering like this. But what I do in this song is I add the sixth and fifth strings. So the 
free chorus. Now remember, you can slow it down on the player at any time you need to, but that pre-chorus, one more time, and I'll play it a little bit slowly, so that even if you do slow it down, it'll be even slower. Two, three, four. right into our chorus because by now you're starting to learn the song structure of a lot of these rock songs and we are up to the chorus at this point so the chords we'll use are basically the same that we've already learned those two notes sixth and fifth string um, chords <laughs> intro riff there you go so once you've learned the opening riff the pre-chorus and the chorus the solo is next but you already know the chords and basically you know all the parts of the song you just need to put them together in the context of the original track so we're at the solo now you're basically just going to be pedaling through that dropped uh, open fifth string and open six string and if you are feeling very brave and daring and you want to dive into the solo you just got to know your octaves and i'm going to shoot with the octaves that are on the third string starting on the basically 17th fret so As you can see, I get all the way up to the top of my neck. Maybe you have a guitar that has one more fret, but I'm all out of frets at that point. And I remember playing this song live so many times where, oh, am I going to run out of frets? But I never do. I actually have just all the way up to that last one. So you can learn that so I'll do it in the playback version of it. But we're almost ready. If you can go back and review the opening riff, pre-chorus, chorus, and then just that rhythm sound pedaling throughout, um, that rhythm of the right hand. I think you got this song under your belt and you are now one step closer to Alice Cooper. So there you have it. We are ready now for the playback of Alice Cooper's Brutal Planet.
Great job, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me again. And now you can say that you have a heavy Alice Cooper song under your belt. You know some classic rock songs as well. And hopefully you can take all those styles that you're learning throughout these videos and make it your own. Because at the end of the day, it's amazing to learn other people's songs, but it's also even better to incorporate those styles and come out with something new and fresh that's all your own. So good luck with your continued journey with the guitar. I will see you again. You are the 77 Nation Guitar Army, and I'm Ryan Roxy. Enjoy the ride.